Welcome, I'm Elizabeth Harper. I'm thrilled that you've joined me. We're here with this week's Angel Messages. I was going to do this live this week and then, you know, stuff got in the way. And I've been up for a long time, so I thought, well, you know, let's do this little recording. And then it's on the same day. It's got snow outside. My husband's talking, you might hear him in the background. And it's all kind of messy, but whatever. It doesn't make any difference because your angels are right there. All right. So what I would love for you to do is place your hands over your heart. Invite your angels to guide you to message one, two or three. Right? Message one, two or three. What are you guided to? Are you guided to the same message every week? Is it the same number every week? Could be a pattern. It might be something that you're stuck with. Ask yourself if you get the same number and you had that last week and the week before and the week before that. Ask yourself, am I actually picking this number because I like that number? Or am I picking it because my intuition and my soul is guiding me to it? Yeah. See what comes up for you. All right. What you can also do, I'm going to shuffle these cards at the same time. What you can also do is invite your angels to guide you. You can stop the, stop the video and move your cursor along until you come to a particular place in that video where you really feel that you have a, an extra message from your angels. It might not be number one, two or three. It might be just there. There's a sentence that you need to hear. There's something that you need to hear. So try that too. Yeah, use your intuition. It's good to play. I love to play with my intuition. All right. We have these cards, of the Gaia cards. I haven't used these before, have we? We haven't used them before. So let's pick one, two or three from these cards. See what comes up. Thinking of you. Oh, that is such a beautiful card. Look at that. So much light that is there. And it's yellow, and yellow is a color of thought and intellect, solar plexus as well. So that vibration is saying that you are being thought of at this moment, that you are being put into this energy of light. It says, thinking of you, a loving thought, serendipity. So I feel with that, that you are, your soul is guiding you, your spirit is guiding you, your angels are guiding you. They are all focused on you right now. So sometimes you can feel very alone on this path, you know, because we are physical beings and we think that we need to have physical beings either side of us or walking the path with us or moving in the same direction as us. So it can be a very lonely path. So your angels want you to know that they are right there with you. And just like the message said, they are thinking of you. They're sending you love. They're holding you in this vibration of light. You are light. I am light. We are all light. We are all one within that energy of light. And when you look at this, when you look at that light, ask yourself, who is thinking of me? Who is it that this message is from? Is it from a, a loved one on the physical plane or on the spirit plane? Is this from my angels? Is this from my guides? Which angel, which guide? Who is this from? Just ask, ask, is it from your higher self? Is it from the divine? Is it from source? It could be all of these. So just ask, who is it from? What comes to you? When I tune into that for myself, I suddenly see a lot of lilac and lavender. And I know it's my loved ones. So what is it for you? Let me know. Okay, number two. I love that. Number two, what do you get? Let's see, it feels like it's mm, right there. So, this is Eternal Dance. Oh, I love that. It looks very much like she's part of the tree, doesn't it? So it says movement, wheel of life, path of least resistance. And that's kind of interesting. I was thinking about this the other day. You know, you get salmon that swim upstream and they have an intention of swimming upstream for a reason. They get into a point that they've been at before. It's a place that they know they need to go to. It's instinct. 
that's taking them there. So they're going against the stream, but the easiest thing really is to go with the flow and to just go with, and it's, they're not changing that. They're never changing that, are they? Because it's part of their instinct to sort of go against that stream. I've got to go against that stream because this is where I need to be. But maybe it would be easier for them to find a different place to be that is downstream or somewhere else that doesn't have to be such hard work. Or maybe that hard work is part of that instinctual survival as well. So when I look at this and I see the energy of vulnerability because she is naked there and she's surrounded by all these vines as well, there is this sense of sometimes holding ourselves back and thinking that we are stuck or thinking that we are chained to a particular idea and way. And that causes us to not move forward because it's what we've always done. I've always done this. This is the way I've always done it. This is the way I've always thought. This is the way I've always imagined it. And so that can tend to hold you in this little place of a pattern. And as a consequence of that, what you most desire, the direction you want to take, the it's like the gold at the end of the rainbow isn't available for you because there's so much struggle. There's so much resistance that's there. You're holding yourself within this framework of the vine instead of just saying, okay, well, you know, I'll do this however it needs to be done. I'll take the path that Maybe is of least resistance, but maybe that path is the path that I'm being directed to at this moment to just go with the flow. I remember when I wrote my book, Wishing, it was called Sealed with a Wish to start with. And eventually it became Wishing. That's why, you know, it came up with a seal with love for my business as well. And I wrote this book. 1999, 2000, and I edited it and edited it and edited it until I felt it was ready. And I sent it out and it was, it was well received, but I was told that, you know, lots of books like this out there, this was before The Secret, there were lots of books out there, but there weren't any books like my book. And a friend of mine said to me, you know, maybe it's just the wrong time. Maybe it's not the right time for your book. And that's why, that's why. And yeah, I kept submitting, you know, I'd submit and sort of thought, well, why is this not getting anywhere? And when she said to me, maybe it's just not the right time, I thought, of course. Of course it's not the right time. That's exactly what it is. It's not that my book isn't good enough. It's not that my book isn't meant to be out there. It's that my book needs to be out there at exactly the right time. And it was. It came out in 2008. <laughs> Wishing when we most needed it. After the secret. When we most needed it. And that was the thing. It's, I, I went with the flow. I let go and just went with the flow. But if I'd still been struggling with that, I feel that even though there was a right time for it, that struggle, it may have prevented me from really moving forward when it was the right time. So once I let go and just went with the flow, I allowed that right time to, it's like connect with me on the same frequency, on the same wavelength at the right time. So I feel that the message here is to let go of resistance, let go of struggle and really go with the flow. And the message is eternal dance, movement, wheel of life, path of least resistance. So look at that in your own life. What are you chained to at the moment that just isn't working for you? Maybe it's time to let that go. It doesn't mean it's not going to come back again into your life. That that isn't going to manifest for you. It's just that maybe it's the wrong time. All right. Okay, final card. Let's see what we have. I just feel like I want to just shuffle them again. Just got that sense. Time to move that energy movement straight after that card. It's movement. 
I can see it. I can see it. It's that, that one right there. <laughs> it's just that one. Peace. It's the energy of peace. Now, here's an interesting thing that the very first card kind of looks like that the same, doesn't it? Thinking of you and peace. It almost feels like there's a little sandwich in here. Peace. So it says dissolving unwanted or disturbing thoughts. So that is perfect. And it's in that yellow energy as well. You know, yellow is the color of the solar plexus, of the sun of source, this beautiful yellow sun and the solar plexus, the sun center within us, that energy that can be connected with fear. There's only two emotions, right? Love and fear. So within our solar plexus, that energy of the power of love, but also the power of fear is in with, within that vibration as well. And it's just looking at in our lives, what is coming up for us that is around fear? Because if it's not love, then it must be fear, right? So that energy of peace comes after we've dissolved this vibration of fear. After we've dissolved all the other things, all the other challenges that have different names, but when we go back to the core, the core of it is fear. So think about that. Think about that at this moment. What challenges in your life? What challenges are right there, right now? Because those challenges, even though they seem to be in a particular category, let's say, and they have a particular word, can you take them back to the core, the core fear? What happened initially? to create that, to create that disturbance. And how can you then bring in love in order for you to bring balance, healing, and ultimately peace? How can you do that? So think about that. Peace from a color perspective is the vibration that links in with blue. Blue is that color of peace. When you relax into the blue energy, it's calm. It's like a blue ocean that is calm. And that is that sense of peace. And that sense of peace is fearlessness. There is no fear. Maybe not fearlessness. It's just that there is no fear. It's not there anymore. It's not part of your reality until it is. And then you notice it. You're aware of it understand where it comes from, put love into it, and move beyond it, and move into this state of peace. So where are you seeking peace in your life right now? Where is peace? Where do you need it? Where does it need to be? How can you embrace it? What are you not doing that is preventing you from really embracing, embodying, owning the vibration of peace. And I love that. I love that sense of peace. And sometimes we, you know, especially as healers, as light workers, we have come into family groups, we've come into cultural groups, we've come into um, countries, cities, towns, areas, parts of the land, the world, where we as healers have come to bring this energy of peace, have come to bring this energy of love. But it starts with us first. <laughs> so we heal ourselves first. We start with us first. And anything that you see external to you that, oh, they are not in peace, they're not in a place of peace, that people, what they're doing, they are a reflection, just a reflection of what is going on within us. And within us is a universe. <laughs> we hold the whole energy of the world within us. 
So anything that you see external to you, just notice it. And if it brings something up for you, bless it. If it brings something up for you, it's bringing it up for your awareness and for your healing. Notice that. It's there for a reason. And bless however that experience has popped into your life. However you've been blessed by that experience. Because that's what it is. It truly is a blessing. Even the challenges that are there, they're blessings because you get to grow. You get to learn more about yourself. And you get to embody more love and more peace. <laughs> I love that. I hope you've enjoyed these three cards. I hope that the messages relate to you and they really resonate with you. I send out a newsletter, a love letter every week. If you don't get my love letter, then you can get my free angel, guiding angel meditation. It's just four minutes, 44 seconds long, and you'll get my love letter with it as well. And this week, I spoke about patterns. If you got my love letter, I just spoke a little bit about patterns and also about my membership, Intuitive Soul Circle, about my beautiful soul circle, because this is the place where healing happens, where you can open up your intuition gently. You know, just stepping into your power, stepping into your truth. So you can find out more about that on my website, sealwithlove.com. I hope you have an amazing winter solstice. The age of Aquarius, this new vibration coming in. You can feel it, can't you? I'm going to see you next week. Lots of angel blessings to you. <laughs> Bye.